out of here. Every man split. Move. Oh, the shitty hand like that. Yeah, I wouldn't have won that hand. Debo, what are you doing? You better be being Have. Sorry about that, guys. Um, with all this Red Dead, I got fucking hungry as hell. I am not gonna lie. Fuck yeah, coach. Alright, I'm done. Hell up, Termine. I'm killing it. Fuck it. Should have said something, damn it. Hell yeah, I gotta be my bull. A bullshit.
Alright. Thank you for tuning in. We just killed ourselves a bull. No, we're gonna make some steak. Yep. Hey, funny thing is, I actually hate steak. Damn it. Cummins, I killed the bull. I killed her bull. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this son of a bitch. Cause you're an asshole and you didn't want to fucking answer me, asshole. Oh, you killed the bull? Yeah. In the new town that we're in? Yeah. I lost my hat again. I'm gonna hog tie this motherfucker. This is private property, interlocal. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Find my fucking hat. I don't even know what the hell I tripped over. I tripped over something. Hey, it's dark. My horse is black on, too. Bro. I couldn't see anything. Like, like that's. Where the fuck is a guy I beat the hell out of? Where's my hat? Up your ass. Fuck you. Maybe later. No, I'm just kidding. You. She really ate half her fucking corn dog and wanted me to put it in the fridge? Fuck what it. the Whatever. hell? Whatever. I'll still eat it though. I ain't even mad. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of travelers out right here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, 
looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavis Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long. And stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Come on, you damn horse. Wait. Get. Let's get. Come on. Here. Braithwaite Manor is southwest of here. Yeah, I got that. Shut your whore mouth, Thermite. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it, help? Not a damn thing. You don't have any nuts. I don't play this game with me, boy. Don't play this game with me. You can't be walking here. Get out right now. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. I don't suppose you mind my walking through these grounds. I got a guidebook talks about the big plantation house. Your guidebook's about to get you shot, Yankee. Get out of here. That's real hospitable. Good day. 
you aren't working for the Braithwaite's, you can't well be walking here. I'm taking you out. You best be going now. Penelope Braithwaite? Uh, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. Shut up, <laughs> Termine. A letter and a gift, but we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not for me. Cummins. From Bo. <gasps> oh, shut Cummins. up, Joseph. He Tell Termine, so shut the fuck up. Strange. Termine, <laughs> shut the strange, fuck up. But also <laughs> so human. The rest of our right, coach. I got stuck you. Stuck in the dark ages. Or well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out... Hey, Termine, why not? They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful. Like why not? Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. 101, My these nuts. a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, I, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. 